Ladies and gentlemen, with the official announcement of Metro in VR for the MetaQuest and PlayStation VR, I wanted to go through a few things that I expect for the game, as well as talk about two other games that have a direct relation to the release of this title. So first off, for all of you who don't know what the Metro series is, it is a set of three video games based off the 2005 book Metro 2033 by the Russian author Dmitry Glukovsky. These games are heavily inspired by Stalker and are some of my favorite games ever. They are very well done and extremely fun, so if you ever get a chance to play them, they are on PlayStation. PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Not only that, but the entire three games are 89% off as a bundle on Steam, so pick that up. The Metro series takes place in Moscow, Russia after a nuclear holocaust where everybody is forced to live in the subway systems underground. A nuclear winter ensues, and due to all the radiation, begins to mutate animals and other living creatures into horrible monsters that the colonies underground have to defend themselves against. Now, the last Metro game I played was Metro Exodus, and that came out only a few years ago and was such an incredible game. It worked like Stalker where it was semi open world and had some of the best gameplay mechanics I've ever seen. So you can imagine I was quite excited when I learned the series was continuing officially in VR. And seeing this trailer for the first time was very cool, but has me a little worried. Let me explain why. By the looks of it, this whole game might take place underground in the Metro, which tells me that this might be a 100% linear experience, which in fact, there's nothing wrong with this type of gameplay loop. This trailer has me thinking about Half-Life Alex, which was 100% linear, and as we all know, was coveted as one of the best VR gameplay experiences ever created. That being said, my gripe with linear games is replayability. I paid over $40 for Half-Life Alex and played it only once. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call a gameplay loop with a very short expiry date. Pretty much the polar opposite of our god and savior in VR, Ghost of Tabor, where you go into a raid, you loot, you extract, you level up traders, you go in with the loot, you extract with more loot or you die with it all, which is an infinite gameplay loop in my opinion. Other than that, I'm actually not too worried. The game looks very polished, the trailer is very well done, and I think we'll actually have a very neat game to play. But ha ha ha, this is what brings me to my Trojan horse of this video, which is about another game completely that has a lot to do with what's going on here. Now I want you to comment down below if you've ever heard of a VR game called Paradox of Hope, made by one single indie developer. And if you haven't heard of it, I don't blame you because it was taken off of Steam almost two years ago due to a cease and desist order sent by a mysterious game studio that I think we all know. What? What the fuck? This game was essentially Metro in VR and was very well done. It was about halfway finished with a fleshed out storyline and even had a lot of hype back in the day with Heavy 147 doing a whole video about it. Which of course I'll link down below so you can see what the gameplay of Paradox of Hope was like. Now when this game was taken off of Steam due to the lawsuit, there were a lot of creators that were confused on who would sue a small independent developer. And interestingly enough, we never got an official answer. But now with Metro leasing their VR game, I think we can all take a guess on who that might have been. Now guys, believe it or not, this whole rant is leading me to my main point of the video. And that's what this independent developer started to busy himself with after the cease and desist. And why I think it has the potential to be one of the most important things to happen to VR since Ghost of Tabor. And the project I am referring to is a brand new VR game called Convergence. And why would this project be so important might you ask? Well, let me go through it with you. Before Paradox of Hope was sued into the ground, the developer was about halfway done his linear campaign. But along with that linear campaign was another little gameplay mechanic that contributed to the experience overall. And not only that, but was a gameplay loop mechanic that could be revolutionary. Let me explain. This gameplay loop mechanic will be the main aspect of his next game, Convergence. And if implemented properly, will have tons of replayability. So before I begin to explain what this mechanic is going to be, I will read the description right off of the Steam page itself so we can get a better idea. It says here that this game is an extraction shooter, Escape from Tarkov-like, with procedurally generated locations at night, the usual gameplay is transformed. You will encounter eerie monsters and your most formidable adversary, your own fear. From the sounds of this, it looks like he went from copying Metro in his first game, Paradox of Hope, to copying games like Escape from Tarkov, Stalker, and of course, Into the Radius. But I do have to give him kudos for attempting to mix all of these amazing gameplay loop mechanics into one game. And all of this being procedurally generated and in VR sounds like the perfect storm. An actual dream come true when it comes to any game. And if you're thinking to yourself, this is too good to be true, 
I'd put money on that statement, just for now. With an escape from Tarkov-like extraction with the complexities of a stalker game, and expecting it to be perfectly balanced in a procedurally generated world, sounds like an impossibly tall order. But of course, if anyone could actually pull this off properly, it sounds like the greatest game that could ever exist. And that is why I'm going to keep a very close eye on Convergence. Its release date is set for 2024, but of course, with this ambition, who knows when it's going to come out. I'll link their Steam page down below where you can wishlist the game, as well as the studio's YouTube channel for you to check out for yourself. I know that this video went a few different directions on what it actually was about, and I am having a hard time sitting here contemplating on what I'm going to title it and what the thumbnail is going to be, so I do apologize if you clicked on this video thinking it was going to be about one thing, but it was actually about another thing. But I do have to admit, the irony of the studio behind Metro suing a small independent developer making a VR game and using the video itself to promote his current game is kind of hilarious. So I do hope you enjoyed the video and the information I provided today. Convergence sounds like an extremely exciting project. If any of you were into the Metro games, Stalker games, into the Radius game, this is something to pay attention to. So thanks for watching.